minutes early. The things you do for N plus one. Yep, it's a new bike day. 6.45 in the AM and it's time for a bit of a road trip. I guess a question to you would be how far would you travel for a new bike? You know, maybe it comes down to the type of bike. But I'm super stoked about the new addition to the stable. You're gonna love it. We just got a bit of driving to do first. Where are we going? La Belle Provence, people. Montreal City. Do they call it Montreal City? We're going to Montreal. <laughs> Let's do it. 7.22 a.m. Hopefully you can see me a little better without the assistance of a dome light. The sun is starting to come up. In fact, I think the sun is up. Look at this beautiful day. Yeah, winter. So a new bike. As I talked about last week, I spent a lot of money on a brand new bike last year. So why the hell am I buying a new bike in 2024? One of the reasons I'm buying a new bike and I should preface that by a new bike, it's a new old bike, is with the custom Mariposa bike that I have that I spent a ton of cash on, I really want to baby that. Uh, maybe I baby it a little bit too much. And by baby, I mean nothing inclement for that bad boy. No rain, no sleet, no salt, no dirt, nothing. It has to be a pristine bluebird day for me to ride that Mariposa. And that's okay. But what if the weather conditions turn a little bit? Or if I look at the weather forecast for the day and it says there's a 50% chance of showers. 50% means no go with the Mariposa. So what am I gonna ride? And that brings me to today. It's time for M plus one. And this is a new bike slash rain bike slash crappy condition bike. But it's more than that. I've kind of turned a corner when it comes to bikes. I want to dig into that a little bit. I'm all about the interesting bikes these days. Something that's a little quirky. Something that's a little different. Something that's not just run of the mill. And that's why we're going to Montreal. So what constitutes a backup bike? A B to my A. I've had a few different ones tucked away on Facebook Marketplace that I'm looking at. I think a B bike shouldn't necessarily be a brand new bike. I don't need anything fancy. I don't need anything electronic. I don't need Durace. I don't need SRAM Red. And I, I don't think I need a carbon fiber frame. In fact, I know I don't need a carbon fiber frame. So the bikes that I've had tucked away that I've been looking at include a Cannondale Super 6 Evo used, Cervelo R3, used a Kona Rove which looked quite interesting overpriced but I've had a lot of those bikes before or bikes similar to that and as I just mentioned I'm really into different things I'm into <laughs> that sounds kind of weird but I want something uh, that I'm kind of excited about and the new bike I'm totally excited about it's, it's going to offer me something that I don't already have. It's going to offer me something that I've never had. And I can't wait to show you. We are 52 minutes away from our destination. The journey continues. Big signpost there. Just letting us know we're leaving Ontario. We're heading into, uh, into Quebec. But you really don't need a signpost to let you know that you're entering Quebec from Ontario. The road conditions will tell you that. They go from a B plus to a D minus. I don't know what it is with Quebec roads. Now wait till we get into downtown Montreal. You want to talk about crappy road conditions. 
Oh joy. Okay, success. I think I spent a total of 15 minutes in Montreal. Do you find if you're like me, you always bitch and complain about the traffic in the city that you live in, and then when you visit a new city, it's always measurably worse. Oh my God, the drivers and the traffic in Montreal. Anyways, one of the reasons I left super early this morning was to avoid the congestion in downtown Montreal. Um, unfortunately for me, uh, I had to go into downtown Montreal. Sometimes I do these excursions for stuff that I buy and the people live on the periphery of the city and it makes it much easier to get around, to get in and to get out. Oh, the old in and out. I digress. So I've got the bike. Doesn't look like much, right? Wait till you see it. Totally sweet. Very nice chap sold it to me. His name is Gabriel. Actually worked for a Canadian bike company who recently just had a round of layoffs. As most of you probably know, the cycling industry globally is going through a bit of a, uh, an adjustment, a readjustment, and is struggling a little bit. So uh, Canada is not immune from that. We worked for a company, Canadian bike company called Da Vinci. I think they're based just outside of Montreal. Super nice guy. Very passionate about bikes, which is always great to see. And uh, sad to see this one go. But happy to see it go into good hands. My good hands. About an hour outside of Ottawa now. Let's get home. Let's get another coffee into the system. And uh, let's have a closer look at that bad boy. Okay, we survived the trip back from Montreal. We, me, and this guy. So here it is in all its glory, shiny, shiny. I don't know if you can make out how cool the paint job is on this bike, but it's pretty awesome. What is it? It is a Velo Orange, or if you're in Quebec, a Velo Orange, Rando. I'll tell you what it is, is it's pretty impressive. Cue the montage. So I'll get into the specifics of the bike on next week's video. I just wanted to give you a brief introduction as to what this is exactly and why I'm so stoked to ride it. There is one thing I need to check out. The bike is immaculate. Uh, Gabrielle seems to have done an extremely good job taking care of it. But for whatever reason, he's routed the micro shift cable down the left side of the down tube and then out to the rear derailleur. Um, which in theory is okay, it works. However, it puts additional strain on the cable and to make it worse is the cable is actually coming into contact with the paint on the down tube, which uh, nobody wants, especially when the paint job is as amazing as it is on this bike. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. Route it back onto the right side, the right side, the correct side, and, uh, and figure that bad boy out. Unfortunately, I have not ridden the bike yet because it is winter and the road conditions are just not suitable yet, but I will. And I will get back to you and let you know how it rides versus the Mariposa. There are differences. And there's some cool stuff on here that I have never used before on a bicyclette. So I'm excited about that as well. Oh, so much to get through in the next few days. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Take care.